This was Irving. This was my grandfather. And this is his story. This is where he worked. And these were the people that he loved. His doctors, his nurses. And this is what he did. He began at Normandy. There was Paris. Paris has been liberated. And the first Jewish New Year's with the few survivors left. Then the push north. The bitter cold of the bulge, a cold he would never forget. The push across the Rhine. A night spent pulling the boys out from under the Remagen Bridge and into Germany. It was near the end. 500 bellies, 300 chests, hundreds of bodies, beaten and battered. Dozens of towns, beaten and battered. It had all run together, and now it was a blur. When a German officer arrived at their camp, a wounded boy in his arms. I must speak to the head surgeon, please. I surrender, but help my child. As a doctor, you must help my child. My grandfather came from a line of 16 generations of rabbis. He knew what they were doing to his people. He would see it soon with his own eyes, and his camera would be his testimony to the world. He knew what they would have done to him. But he was a surgeon, and his role was to heal. After the surgery, the German and his wife asked to speak with him. The German introduced himself. I am, I know who you are, said my grandfather. Ten years ago, I spent a year of my medical residency in Germany before the war. You supervise my rounds. They sat on the steps of the hospital, two peers. You know, my grandfather said, looking out at the destruction, we didn't start this war. Yes, we know you didn't start it, the German responded. And we weren't asked. This is Irving. This is my grandfather. <laughs>